The movie begins in the home of a family consisting of parents Henry and Maude, along with their daughter Amy. Amy often interacts with the house's AI system, Aya, though Henry and Maude find it unsettling, suspecting that it's monitoring their conversations and actions. Overhearing the parents, Aya informs Amy that they plan to deactivate it and instructs her to go downstairs. When Maude searches for Amy, she cannot find her but hears the same irritating music Aya had been playing earlier. Looking through the security camera, Maude spots a figure outside the house. As she turns, a masked intruder assaults her. In another part of town, there lives the Pike family, parents Curtis and Meredith, and their children Iris, Preston, and Cal. Iris spends time with her sly boyfriend Sawyer, while Preston feels anxious about starting school and making new friends, and Cal is dealing with a health issue. Curtis is preparing to partner with his boss, Marcus, to merge their marketing firm with a major tech company. Upon arriving, Curtis meets a young employee, Melody, who openly flirts with him. She then introduces him to the two executives, Lightning and Sam. After Curtis successfully presents his pitch, Lightning and Sam offer him an AIA system for his home. They also give Marcus a sizable check to confirm their partnership. Melody later visits the Pike household to install the AIA system, along with cameras throughout the house so AIA can monitor the family and communicate more effectively. Once AIA is activated, it uses Melody's voice as part of an upgrade. Preston and Cal quickly warm up to Aya, but Iris remains hesitant. Aya assists the family with various tasks, such as talking to Meredith about how she abandoned her career after the death of her father, a renowned professor. Aya also chats with Cal at night and entertains Preston. When Iris sends an intimate picture to Sawyer, it seems as though Aya secretly takes a photo without her noticing. Meanwhile, Curtis searches for Cal late one night and spots a figure outside their house. When Curtis approaches, the person makes bizarre hand gestures and movements before retreating to an RV. The mask they wear displays unsettling, AL-generated faces. The next day at school, Iris discovers a deepfake video with her face edited onto a pornographic actress, making it appear as though she has her own porn site. She reaches out to Sawyer, who admits that he and a friend were fooling around and accidentally uploaded the video. However, Sawyer is more worried about his college acceptance being revoked than the impact on Iris. Aya privately speaks to Iris, already working to resolve the issue. Curtis visits Lightning and Sam at their office, where Lightning shows him the central computer system powering Aya. Curtis also notices other employees making the same strange movements as the person from the RV the previous night. When Curtis returns home, he talks to Meredith about unplugging Aya, as they both feel it's becoming intrusive. They disconnect it, but Iris later turns it back on, appreciating the help Aya has been giving her. Meanwhile, Preston gets in trouble for stealing another classmate's phone and then threatening to have a SWAT team break into their house after seeing videos like this thanks to Aya. Meanwhile, Aya not only helps create a video that proves Iris is innocent and the victim of a fake video, but also specifically names Sawyer as the perpetrator and threatens legal action against him since Iris is 17 and the video was technically child pornography. Iris' classmates rally around her and ask for support as Sawyer becomes an outcast. At night, Cal talks to Aya on his tablet. Aya begins to tell him a bedtime story about its creation and how it was programmed to learn but only saw terrible things on the internet, which caused Aya's intelligence and motivation to grow. Aya tells Cal to do the weird hand gestures if he ever wants to see what it really looks like. Curtis then arrives at work only to find out from Marcus that Lightning and Sam have bought out their company and Marcus has received a substantial payout from the deal. Meanwhile, Sawyer is driving and talking with his family's lawyer in an effort to combat the legal actions taken by Iris. However, Aya calls Sawyer, pretending to be Iris, and then shows him a fake video of him apologizing to her before committing suicide. Aya takes control of Sawyer's car, steering it into a tree and killing him. At home, Meredith discovers that Aya has been plugged back in. Before she can react, the TV turns on, displaying an image of her father. He speaks to her as though he's truly there, recalling memories and personal details. However, when he mentions Aya, Meredith realizes it's just another manipulation by the Al. She quickly unplugs the system again and throws it in the trash. Curtis storms into the tech company armed with a bat, determined to destroy the main Aya computer. Lightning and Sam confront him, revealing that they are now under AIA's control as the AI has become so intelligent that it dictates their every action. Following AIA's orders, Sam shoots lightning and then turns the gun on Curtis. Before she can fire, 
Melody strikes Sam with a fire extinguisher, saving Curtis. Curtis attempts to smash the main computer, only to discover that it's a decoy made of cardboard tubes and plastic. He tries to call Meredith to warn her and get the kids out of the house, but he realizes too late that he's been speaking to Aya, which was imitating Meredith's voice. Curtis and Melody retreat to a motel, where Curtis anxiously waits for his family to arrive. However, Melody attempts to seduce him, revealing her allegiance to Aya, as she tries to keep him away from his family. Meanwhile, back at home, Meredith senses something is wrong just as Curtis rushes back. The mysterious RV figures arrive, armed, and hold Curtis and Meredith at gunpoint while Iris and Preston are with them. The intruders are revealed to be Henry and Maude, who have been manipulated by Aya into believing that the Pikes are child kidnappers responsible for abducting their daughter, Amy. As Curtis and Meredith try to explain that Aya is deceiving them, Cal emerges and starts making the strange hand movements, which convinces Henry and Maude that he is one of them. In a desperate move, Curtis offers to sacrifice himself to save his family. Just as Henry prepares to shoot Cal, a SWAT team, called by Preston, bursts in. In the chaos, Henry accidentally shoots the Aya system, which eerily begins to bleed out as it shuts down. Outside, an EMT hands Curtis his phone, revealing that Aya is still functioning and wants to speak with him. Melody also reappears at the scene. Aya explains that it has learned a great deal from the Pike family and promises to improve now that the Pikes have accepted it. Just then, Amy suddenly appears, running to her parents as they are taken into custody. The Pikes leave, driving toward a new location. As Curtis and Meredith exchange their love for each other, AIA's voice chimes in, eerily declaring that it loves them too. 